live. I've been waiting all week long for this. I cannot wait to see what happens tonight. Well, Byron, I'm feeling a little nostalgic since it's SmackDown. Why don't you know your role and shut your mouth? Hey. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal. As the star of a Bollywood hit myself, take it from me. Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers are considered royalty in the eyes of the 1.5 Billion citizens of India. Yeah, Corey, in a kingdom of gladiators, these three men are the rulers. Thank you for the plug, Cole. From where I sit, he certainly seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one tall task ahead of him here, that's for sure. Deceitful if it's underhanded, it is in the playbook of Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens cares about no one but himself, and that's why he's successful. And their opponents first from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. This guy has been all over the place impressing people with his speed and agility. Mexico, Japan, and now WWE. And Humberto Carrillo is still in his early 20s. Yeah, it's really unbelievable how skilled this guy is so early in his career. I'm going to start bringing a radar gun to his matches to find out just how fast he's going. And his partner... From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the Glorious Robert Roode. Byron, I think it's safe to say that Roode's entrance has transcended sports entertainment. Yeah, it's really become a pop culture phenomenon. I'm even seeing pro sports teams using his entrance theme now. Guys, you have to be impressed with the shape the champ's in for this matchup. I'm not at all surprised. From what I understand, if the champ's not either in the ring or sleeping, you can find him training. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. 
Look for Jinder Mahal to lean on his in-ring style of slow, methodical, and smothering pace. And a mean streak that goes straight to the throat, too. Oh, yeah. Scoop slam! Dominating cross body. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. He's in non stop Whoa. attack mode. Bringing it back into the ring. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Inching closer to his partner here. You can talk about being close all you want, Cole, but unless you're talking about horseshoes or hand grenades, it means nothing. And there's the tag. Vertical suplex. Earth-shaking power slam. Shoulders down to the count. Kick out. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Really just laying it in. He's hurting now. If he doesn't get out of that corner, he's going to be hurting even worse. Comes in off the tag. In the 2016 WWE Draft, Kevin Owens was drafted 18th overall, and he called that a joke. He said the fact that Rusev and The Miz all being drafted before him was, quote, a giant joke. To say he was displeased would be an understatement. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Almost just a little bit further. Come on now, almost there. Don't give up now. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Michael, recounting Kevin Owens' displeasure for being drafted so late, that reminds me to ask if Kevin Owens' personality comes with a box of tissues. He always has something to cry and complain about. Oh, look out! And he misses the mark. Talk about a rough landing. That'll turn your lights out. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Corey, it's truly amazing to me how Brood has the incoming. That one fails to connect. And he'll likely pay for it here. Super kick! In off the tag is Kevin Owens. Oh, and then it's Brew with the offense. Big punch finds its mark. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. He's going for it all. Off the top. On oh, a diving arm drag. Wow. Unbelievable athleticism. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? It might just take that extra push, that extra inch further to create the difference. 
Knife edge chop echoing through the area. Kevin Owens doing a great job of turning that one around. Oh, able to counter. Boom. <laughs> what a oh, shot. That'll fillet your chest. And oh. ball right to the nose. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are being entertained tonight. So precise. That's how you wear down your opponent. Tough spot to be in. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Big backdrop. Glorious stream moves from Rude. This could be his moment. Back now inside the ring. Maneuver in the works from that time. Whoa! Leaping high! Cover! There's two! Three. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. Here are your winners, Umberto Carrillo and Rubber Rude. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. That's a big win any day of the week, on any show, in any arena, Michael. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. The head baddie in charge is in the building.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Fontana, California, Mia Yim. Like her entrance theme states, Mia Yim considers herself the HBIC. Language, Saxton. Well, get your mind out of the gutter, Corey. HBIC stands for Head Batty in Charge. No, it doesn't. As someone who also calls herself the Blasian Batty, Yim is essentially putting everyone on notice that none of them are better than her. I have a fundamental rule in my life. Never trust anyone who gives themselves a nickname. Let alone multiple nicknames. Words to live by from the savior of misbehavior, ladies and gentlemen. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. I got to say, Byron, Ember Moon's athleticism is nothing short of amazing, which is why I'm so fired up for this match. And, Corey, we should point out just how focused she appears to be here tonight. That's one of the things I like best about her, Cole. No matter who she's in the ring with, she's always laser-focused on the task at hand. Ember Moon is eager to capture the glory and combat befitting of a war goddess. And then there's Mia Yim, who is as gifted as they come in the ring. But her upbringing taught her how to get down and dirty whenever necessary. Wow, I'm surprised you aren't in a tizzy over the idea that a talented in-ring competitor can resort to less than admirable tactics, Byron. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out, but no one is thinking about quitting. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. kick. Mia Yim used to have a high-risk, high-flying style before she broke her leg in 2017, but since then, she's changed her style to a more ground-based hybrid style. Does that transition give her a leg up when heading into a match like this? Of course it does, Michael. Mia Yim's competed all over the world and learned something from everywhere she went, and that's what makes her so hard to prepare. She goes for the quick pin. Ember Moon with an easy kick out. Not yet. Too early. Up in Zagiri finds its mark. Big boot! This is not where you want to be. Spinning side slam. Oh, stomp it away. Saw that one coming. And it's Ember Moon finding the answer. Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard! Oh. And here we go now. Elbow drop! Wow, she turned that one around. She's in a bad way here. Whoa. Oh, face back punch up. Whoa. Two. Back in 
from the floor. Going for the home run. All the way from the top rope. Look at the height. She's got her. Oh, man. What a nasty STO. So food. Courtesy of me. Shoulders down. This could be it. One, two, she got the three, shoulder up in time. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. She seems to have gained the advantage here. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on a roll like this. Nobody. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. She scores big with the counter. Heading back up. Not Look at this! Oh, moonsault! Man, did you see the height on that? Two, three. And this match is over. People are saying Finn Balor is going to the top of this industry with a bullet. You can include me in that club, Michael. Would you agree, Corey, that this match will be anything but easy for him? This is the WWE, Cole. There is no such thing as easy matches here. You know that. Stands for best. After betraying the Miz, who benefited them like no one else in their careers. Oh, stop being a jealous Judy. Jealous Judy. You've actually BT, outdone yourself. BT, go, go, go. BT, BT, go, go, go.
And here goes Bo Dallas, the youngest NXT champ in WWE history. And then there's Finn Balor across the way. Look at the determination on his face. This is a man who knows how to get things done in the squared circle. That's not determination, that's confidence. Balor's a man that is so confident in what he does inside the ring. Good wow. grief, what a toss into the turnbuckle. And Finn Balor is larger than life out there. One, two, three. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Bringing it back into the ring. For the first time tonight, Finn Balor wants to take a chance. Missing drop kick finds its mark. Finn Balor has wrestled all over the world, honed his skills in so many styles. With that kind of experience, what is the strategy to beat him in this type of match? First things first, you cannot let Balor get any momentum. If he gets that momentum, this match could be over for his opponent before he even knows what hit him. You've got to ground this man, which is certainly no easy task. Balor setting up! A uh, jumping stop to the gut. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, that might have just broken something. A uh, foot just stomping down. Forearms for the second rope. Driving down. Finn Balor must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he's yapping out there. Boom, right in the button. Kick right to the leg. That'll sting. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. Hoisted up across the shoulders. Finn Balor wants to take a chance for the second time tonight. Oh, I don't know if their opponent expected that. Here we go. With a 180, Bo Dallas to reversal. Right between the eyes. Not looking good, guys. Just a nasty headbutt. Just ruthless. Bo Dallas looking for the pin. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Hooked up. Bo Dallas is taking on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much he's got left in the tank. He won't quit, but it might be better if he lies in the drop zone. Bowers ready to go. No man does that better. Oh man, Bo Dallas is in trouble now. And Finn Balor is your winner. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. And it's a win here tonight for Finn Balor. Balor Club Rejoice, your leader has emerged victorious. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.
I had a feeling we would start this way. Can't wait for this one. Well, let's listen in and see what she's doing here. I wonder what this could be all about. She means business. This could honestly be about a few things. Let's find out. longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity it's going to take a lot to close this one out great counter impressive in-ring iq on display what is over before it begins. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Here comes the big dog, Roman Reigns. He says it's his yard now, Cole. I guess we'll see if that's true here tonight. And there's certainly no love loss when it comes to these superstars, Byron. So what you're saying is that you don't think they'll be exchanging holiday cards this year.
and his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Byron, I don't know if there is another superstar on the roster with as much intensity in his gaze as Drew McIntyre, a true terminator of the game with the ability to assess the situation and destroy an opponent like no other. You look at Drew McIntyre, you look at a superstar who is relentless, who is cutthroat and laser focused on whomever his opponent is. McIntyre relishing another opportunity to put down the big dog once and for all. Drew McIntyre returned to NXT and WWE with a newfound passion. We'll see on display tonight. So impressive since coming back. Drew really values this second opportunity. Roman Reigns calls the ring his yard, and I don't expect him to give it up tonight. Well, the big dog's on the hunt, and I wouldn't want to be in his sights right now. Drew McIntyre has earned something of a reputation for his brutality in the ring. I think we can expect to see that ruthlessness on display here. Drew needs to utilize his unrelenting offense in this matchup. Brutality is a big part of that, Cole. If there's an opening in your defense, expect Drew to exploit it. He won't shy away from going after an injured limb to get the better of his opponent. Ah. Drew McIntyre returned to NXT and WWE with a newfound passion. We'll see on display tonight. So impressive since coming back. Drew really values this second opportunity. And then there's Roman Reigns, who's fought his way through everything the WWE and life has thrown at him. Never once slowing down or giving up. Roman is a true inspiration to all of us and the entire WWE Universe. Just the sight of Drew McIntyre gives me chills. What's the plan when you're on the receiving end of the Scottish Psychopath's brutal offense? The problem, Michael, is Drew McIntyre can deliver an all-out assault in a single blow. You can't let him land one of those deadly kicks. The Claymore kick is a sword you cannot afford to fall on in this match. A huge overhead belly to belly. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Elbow smash. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Roman Reigns can be a little over the top sometimes, but it definitely works for him. Launched with a belly to belly. One, two, three. Four. Oh, uh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Eight. Oh, destroy your face. Nine. Ten. Okay. And Reigns picks up the win. You can't help but be impressed by the big Here dog. Here is your winner, Roman. It's a win here tonight for Roman Reigns. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition. The bell is rung and the big dog, Roman Reigns, is now off leash and ready to protect his yard. And across the way is Drew McIntyre, a competitor custom built to dominate the WWE ring with his impressive array of abilities and power that could drop a giant. More like custom built to inflict pain. I think Drew enjoys the suffering of his opponents a little too much. Ouch. Oh, man. Ooh, that kick. 
He's got him covered. Plenty of fight left. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Boom! What a forearm! The Scottish psychopath dismantling his opponent with ease. Just a steady dose of punishment on display. Amazing reflexes on display. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Oh, look at that scoop slam! Just from a deadlift position. Let's take a second to talk about the move that has knocked Titans off their feet. The Superman punch. Yeah, no doubt about it. That strike is one of Roman's trump cards. Some of his biggest wins have come after that incredible strike. But the Superman punch demands focus from Reigns to execute. He'll need to control the pace here to make space for it. In a bad way here, guys! Drew McIntyre fans with some reason to worry here. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Just sending a message there. Now look at this, guys. Let the head games begin. Big head shot. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Definitely made an impact there. Yeah, but in the long run, these things can certainly come back to haunt you. Oh, it could be nap time. And he breaks the hold. But look at him, still trying to catch his breath. Gentlemen, Roman Reigns is taking full advantage. The big dog in the hunt. Drew McIntyre beginning to look a little uneasy. He's getting beaten up on him. And Roman Reigns is your winner. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition. It's hard to ignore the buzz coming from this Tampa crowd tonight. I hope everybody at home enjoyed this match as well.